What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma, co-host Justin Fasuer, special guest lender, William Wynn. We're going to hound them today with all the lender questions that you guys have been asking. Um, today's episode, we'll be talking about arms. What is an arm, guys? No, it's not the arm with the muscles that Justin oh, is displaying right now. Huge. We ain't yeah. talking about guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose guns are bigger? Let's see. I don't really work out that much. I don't work out either. That's, oh, oh dang. Justin. That's hot. Justin. That's hot, hot bro. <laughs> dang. All right. So, um, William, or actually, uh, Justin, what do you think an arm is? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even... Yeah, I have no idea. What do you even think it pertains to? I mean, obviously homes, some type of maybe loan or... It's an acronym for adjustable rate mortgage. Ooh. And what does that mean? That your mortgage rate is not locked for 30 years. So it's for there's two types of loans, traditional and conventional mortgages. There's a fixed 30 years, or actually a fixed rate, usually 30 years, uh, or 15 20 years. years, or 15. And it's 10 year too. Yeah, uh, but it all depends. But you know, the lower you the lower your your years, the higher the payment. But if you can afford it, it's, it's you save money in the long run and interest. Uh, arms adjustable rate mortgage is for people that aren't aren't planning to stay in their homes for thirty years. Uh, so basically, there's uh, there's a f there's three, five, and seven year and ten year arms. What that means is basically your the, the rates usually lower for the first either three years, whatever you pick, uh, five years or seven years or ten years. So let's say five years for the biggest simple. So your rate is fixed for five years. After that, every year your rate can adjust up. By how much? But there's there's usually a maximum cap annually. Uh, how much your rate? So you, you can't get screwed over it if the rates jump like ten percent. You're not gonna get screwed. You know, there's, there's some protection there. Oh, it adjusts to what the market is. Yeah, it's always, it adjusts what the market is, but there's also a cap. So basically, some companies will have a two year, uh, two percent maximum per year. So yeah. let's say the rates jump four year, four percent that year, they can only raise it up two percent on your loan. What but, if? But every year they can raise it up every year. What if the rates go down in the market? They, they, there's, a, there's, a, so you have a protection for going up. Of course, there's going to be a protection from dropping. So basically, usually it's whatever your rate, your, your original rate is, your the low rate from the beginning, you can't go below that. So the the bank's here to make money. They're not going to. Yeah. This sounds more like uh, when you're a business owner and you're a tenant and uh your landlord makes you pay three percent increases yeah, in the rent it's basically like that for your business that's what it sounds like it's basically like so, that so basically well, it's, 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 that's good that's a good example so basically i say you're renting for me i go i'll, I'll give you your your, your your rent fixed for five years but after that i can raise it every two percent every year yeah yeah but no matter but the, i promise you the maximum i can raise it uh, the maximum of your whole time you're living here uh, the maximum is ten percent so i have a question um, right now, because the rates are so high, we're like at 7.5% in today's rates, right? Very close to 8% mm -hmm. soon. Um, should more people be looking into arms than 30 year fixes right now? It depends on your situation and how much, uh, difference. So I'm what is an arm right now today? Uh, I have to look, I have, I haven't checked today, but I think they're only a little bit, a little bit off by, uh, by the fixed rate. Because sometimes it's, I think when the rates were low, it was, it was a big difference. Yeah. Uh, right now, they're pretty kind of close. So you think if today's rate is seven and a half, and I think the arm so like is 6%, seven? Six, oh, six? Maybe six. Oh, so it's like 1.5% yeah, lower? Yeah. That's but, but, pretty cool. But before, I, I used to be like two, three percent. So. Like it would be like super worth it. Okay. So if I'm that guy that's always buying a new home every four to five years, sometimes two years, mm -hmm. shouldn't I be doing arms then? It, it depends. Yeah. That's why it depends on your situation. So. What? Yeah. It depends. We have to we have to look at the numbers, of course, and then and then if, if it's rates, it's it's, it's, a little, it's also a gamble because you're you're gambling that oh if you're gonna sell it you're fine, but some people are you, you, the other option is to do it and then refinance the like, same thing as a, a temporary instead of a temporary buy down this is kind of like a semi permanent buy down yeah for like five years but then after that you do rate increases and so uh, I know you're using the five years arm as an average of what people do yep. which year arm gets you the lowest rate. I think about five. That's why I chose five. Usually five or seven. Uh, so it all the, the rate all depends on how much risk the bank's taking. Yeah. Yeah. So so the, or, or what the bank wants. Okay. So right now, if I did an arm today, uh, let's just say it could be six percent for five years. Yep. And then after that, we can refi. 
Uh, you can refine anytime. 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 You can you, so can, you can put it, you can put it back to a thirty year rate if you want to. So why aren't we helping our buyers with that right now? Because sometimes uh, I think the, the the payments almost the rate. I think right now the rates were were pretty similar, and sometimes the payments higher because the the, the terms shorter. Is the cost uh, to do that higher too? No, this, this should be the same. I see. Because I'm just like, why didn't I do that every house I bought? Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting actually. Well, here's the catch: is um, payments higher? I think usually uh, the, it all depends. What well, what were the year terms? The uh, depends. There's three, three, five, seven, and ten. Ah, uh, so it's yeah. it is like way higher than the the monthly payment. Because if you're going from a 30, oh, it's still it's still a thirty year thirty it's still a thirty year loan. Oh, so, so I, it's a thirty uh, year loan. But the, the, what I mean by this, how 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 long the rates the, are fixed? I see. I see. Yeah, okay. it's fixed for three, five, seven, or ten. Yeah, but then, but then you don't refinance. Let's say rates are shoot up, and let's say rates shoot up for the next. Let's say you do the five year, and five years rates super high, then you kind of kind of asked out because they can they can increase yeah. the rate on you mm-hmm. so is this something for investors like if they're doing a flip home so they buy a home that it, they got to completely gut out remodel it could be yeah, it could be in investors uh it could be people that are like uh, i had a, i had a, uh, a cousin of mine that um did didn't want to do arms only because he's going to live there less than five years so he rather take the lower save money and in interest right so, uh, i think the payments are a little higher uh, but the save money and in interest he's saving money on in interest uh, and because and he's going to sell in five years. So he'd rather save money and interest, basically. Man, there's so much to learn about real estate. It's insane. Yeah, arm, arms get confusing. So that's why I... I, you know, I mean, it's not confusing. It's, it's just There's just so many things to know. Yeah, because there's so many different different options. And the way how they calculate is really different. And then we have the temporary buy nows, which we've been doing a lot. So I've been, I've been trying to touch myself back on arms. Because not, not, like a, not, a lot of people, not a lot of people do arms. So, so there's an here's another thing that I know because I've been in uh, escrow since you know I was like 18 years old, and uh, which is like over 20 years ago, <laughs> and uh, you know when I was doing uh, escrow and I look at the paperwork, a lot of you know all we do are refinance. That's mm-hmm. all the time, and then I see some with arms, and then I see the word balloon in it. I'm like, what does balloon Ooh, mean? Yeah, so you know, like that sounds scary. so what's dangerous. With, what's up with these words? Yeah, what Arms, do you think balloon balloons. is? Balloon. Oh, I don't even know. You said it sounds scary. It, it, it is. It scary. sounded scary it because scary. not scary. many people. It was a rare case that I saw. So when I see that, I'm like, uh oh. Why does this person have a balloon? It's, what is that? It's scary. What so is basically, that? a balloon. Depending, there's, there's loans out there and it's a balloon payment. So basically, let's say uh, they do the ten year. Right, that's no, that's not a thirty-year loan. So basically, um, they'll give you a rate for ten years, a low rate. But after the ten years, the full payment is due. The full payment, like what? so, if you have a four hundred thousand dollar loan. You owe it'd whatever, be like whatever is left 350. over. Three fifty. Yeah, you you have to pay the three fifty. And what happens if you don't? Then you lose your house, or you refine. You try to get a loan, loan somewhere else. Why would anyone want to do that? It's it's for. It's for people that the thing investors a lot. A lot of investors are like flipping homes. Or well, like, or like, or people that can't. I've seen a lot of those balloon payments where people can get can get traditional financing. What is the benefit to get the balloon though? Is the payments lower? Is the rates lower? I think the rates are lower. Okay. I think I have, I have I don't have I don't deal with too much of balloons, so I have would have to double check. So but I want to deal I want to deal with balloon payments on hard money loans, which is a separate thing by itself. It's not that's not that is not a traditional loan at all, and something I don't do, but I do have a friend that does it. And we, I've done help them with a client, yeah. Because a lot of harmony loans are for clients that cannot qualify through traditional lend, lending. It's so, just like creative financing. It's creative financing, but they're very short term. Yeah, In, their interest rate is higher. Actually, uh, some of the balloon payment ones, like harmony loan, interest rate is way higher. But Who? people are willing to willing to pay it because they need to get stuff done. Who is a hard money lender? Is it a person or a bank? They're usually private. So basically, hard money, it's a totally different thing. So hard money loans are usually, uh, what they do is these companies, they're kind of similar to mortgage companies. So they say you want a hard money loan for like 200000 right? There's usually smaller smaller things like to flip houses and stuff. So basically, it's for the people that want to flip houses and stuff. So you, I, uh, I go, I want to borrow, borrow 200000 You tell me the project. The, I'm the lender. Tell me the project. I put it up on this form of investors. And these single investors, they okay. I'll I'll put my money in it, and they 
they get the usually it's like twelve percent like high high percent. Is it like uh, it's, like, it's like crowdfunding, almost. But this person that's collecting all these investors is an actual company. It's an actual company. It's like I'm a lender. So like I can be I can create a hard lend uh, and hard lender LLC or kind of. Like I don't I don't know how you get into then, it. I think you have to get licensed and stuff. But. Oh, license. I see. I thought it was like okay. Now with this, I can go to mm. Facebook and be like, who wants <laughs> to put in ten grand? They have their own like whole whole. This is a whole. You can do this whole episode about this, but. Uh, and I have to, we have to look into it, but I know I have a friend that does it. And then the reason I know because I had to help a client, but it's a whole thing, dude. They have like a whole website for these inv- private private investors. It's like you just we're balling. I'm like let's let's invest in someone some loans. It's like because these loans are like thirteen percent, and it's only like twelve months usually, right? So like, I'll lend you two hundred thousand dollars. You have to pay me back in twelve months. You, 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 every month you have to pay me twelve twelve percent interest. But after the twelve months, you owe me the whole pay- balloon payment. Basically, you owe me the whole two hundred thousand. Yeah. So you better read or refinance or find, you know, find it somewhere. So, so people can refinance before the boom yes. happens. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what, how we did it. So, uh, let's say uh, this this in this particular scenario, the business was the business owner wrote off a whole bunch of taxes the year before, so we couldn't do it. But the, the year that they need to get the house redone to flip, so they did a hard money loan, and then they're they're gonna pay taxes that year. To show their income increase, so they didn't re- by the before the home money loans do, we can refinance because they'll they'll submit their taxes, and I can use the new taxes. I see. And then, then now they qualify for a traditional. So it's like like sophisticated, like like special scenarios like that. Yeah, I mean, like it just has to be a well planned. Uh, yeah, it has to be planned. But a lot of wealthy people do it because it's real like it's fast money. Yeah. yeah, it's like seven days usually. Yeah, I mean, like even. Uh, we planned for me getting this home yeah. because you know I have so many different businesses and we had to plan out the taxes yep, yep. to get the home that I'm in now. So you guys always have to think about the future. So when you guys reach out to us and you can't get a home, I still want to talk to you and figure out the plan and the path to put you on so in a year or two you are ready yeah. rather than you guys telling me, hey, you know what? I'm not ready right now. See you later. Um, I'll call you in like two years. I'm like, well, if you do that, and if you don't have your stuff in order, then you got to like redo it again. Redo it for another two years to be on the right, uh, have the right structures in place. Every, everything you so, do, anything you do financially, like to to win, is, is yeah. you need a plan. Uh, like so that's what I did when I was financial advising. Is like you, we can't do it today, but let's let's plan out how we're gonna do this in a year. Yeah, what mm-hmm. you need to do. Do you need to pay off some debt? Mm-hmm. Save, do you how need, much money you need to save? I'll, yep. What you need to do for taxes? How much more money do you need to make mm-hmm. or write off or whatever yep. it is? So, yeah. uh, is uh, the thirty-year fixed like the safest option? Yeah, usually. If you want to put it, forget about it, not worry about it, then thirty years fixed. But if you want to like, you want to be more savvy about it, then you can look at all these other options. But when we talk, when when say so you come and talk to me, I'll give you all the options, mm. and you and then I'll give you all the options scenarios, and you you see what best fits for you. So I think. Uh, People who have a lot of money or they're okay in their life, yep, uh, they do fifteen years. Fixed, oh yeah, yeah. You know, or if they're a uh, veteran, yeah, right? because Cause, veterans cause, are zero percent or something like that. Yeah, but the payments if you can afford to pay because the payments are higher. So, uh, it's like, like the less years, um, does the rate change at all or not really? Yeah, some, sometimes it changes lower. It, it all depends on the, the no, when uh, it is. You're asking for a 15 year fix if it changes? Yeah, like it, it does not. Oh, it's, it's, still, a, it's 15 year fix. No, but, I know, no, but, but what I'm saying from, is from like 30 year? Yeah, like is the 30 year can you get like a lower rate with the 15 year? Sometimes yes. Sometimes oh, yeah, okay. sometimes it's lower because it's less it's it's we're paying off quicker. So uh, but sometimes it's almost the same. Mm. Uh let's say right now the rates are, you know, 7.5 for a 30 year fix. A 15 year could be 7. Yeah, like a little bit uh, a little bit different. I yeah. see. Or 7.25. But you'll save you know. In, at, in the long it's for people that want to say they're thinking far ahead yeah yeah because now you're saving like over 15 years of interest yeah so the great thing is like uh if you high. if the home you're buying is like small i would say 500k and under okay uh if the home was small 500k and under and if the rates were better at like three to four percent right now then doing a 15-year fix would be great because your payments would be like 1500 bucks a month okay and then you could pay that off in like 15 years. So uh, compared to a 30-year fix, you know, it would be like 800 bucks. Lower monthly, but long run, you pay yeah. a lot more interest. Uh, yeah. Sorry, and, we'll, and I'm also talking about like, you know, 20, 30% down, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So all depends on your situation. Some people don't want to pay 
interest. Some people want the lower payment every month. So yeah. they'll go, I want the, the longest rate. Like buying a car too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I want 72 months because I want to buy a freaking $100,000 car. I want to keep the payment as low. Can give me the, the max months you can do. Like I think they have like 80, 80 month now terms. Can you believe that 10 years ago at the highest monthly payments, which is getting your 15 year fixes, you know, those are usually highest monthly payments, yep, yep. was only like, 1500 bucks a month Man. and right now people are like 4000 5000 a month on a 30 year fix <laughs> yeah. you know like this is crazy so like 15 year be like 6000 10 years ago i was like wow 1500 bucks like i i'll take the 30 year 800 bucks a month like that's too much i like, mean car car payments now do you remember like normal average like what before back in the day it was like 300 Dude, 400. That's yeah. because now I mean, I car like, prices are like yeah, 60k a car. Yeah, dude, that was yeah, like 800 right. a month. Like, it's geez. like a Corolla. You're paying like 40k. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 40 to 50k for like Corolla? dumb shit. Yeah, because well, yeah, now they got like leather seats. They got like better engines. Yeah, all these kind of things, man. They got rims, Type S's, Corolla Type S, right? Yeah, the little ones. Like, those, yeah. bad, those are cool, dude. They are, but when you gas it, it doesn't go anywhere. Are those sporty straight ones faster, pipe right? it. Isn't it? Well, <laughs> I can't fit in those cars anyway. So, all right, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I learned a lot about arms. I didn't know that much about it, so I that's why I really love having William on this uh, on these episodes. You guys, if you have any lender questions, please put them in the comments. Okay, this is the time. So when we bring William back, we can answer them for you because we want to know what everybody's thinking and what you guys want to learn. Yeah. All right. That's what the next win podcast is about. We're here to teach you guys. So we'll see you on the next episode of the next win podcast.